You are the creator of your reality, my friend. Believe it or not. You got you've got more you got more power than you give yourself credit for, Lassie. There's luck in those charms. And say if you don't like something about yourself, change it. I'm Sean Connor. <laughs> Looks like you're back. <laughs> what were you thinking? Now I love this. I love that you're back. That means I haven't completely scared you away yet, which is great. Oh, so now that I have you here again and you have a, a pretty good understanding or roundabout idea as to what I'm doing or what I would like to do, and just a recap, we want to laugh. <laughs> we want to grow. The only way, in my opinion, that we are really going to be able to dive deep and change our lives from the inside out, we have to figure out what's going on internally within. We have to know who we are. You know, what What the heck? What? Why am I here? What's the, what's the point? What's my purpose? You can't really get to those answers until you know what you're, you know, what you have to offer the world. And not only what you have to offer, but what brings you joy when you're offering it. That's the key. Just because you're good at something, that doesn't necessarily mean that's what you're supposed to be doing. Because in all honesty, you're gonna be good at a lot of things. I can't tell you how many times, especially younger people will say, oh, I, you know, I'm, I know I'm good at this. So I'll just, I'll just stick with this. And it's like, oh my gosh, you're capable of, you're capable and you have so many different gifts. Of course, you're capable of way more than just a handful of things, honey. And not only are you capable of them, you're really, really good at them and you probably love them. So you just have to try new things in order to figure out exactly what it is that you're great at. And, and this is not easy for any, it's not easy for me. It's not, it's hard, it's hard because change is, is not easy uh, any way you look at it. So change is required by the way, in living a fulfilling life, change and pain and figuring out who you are. Then you can, when you do go through difficult times, that's when you find out what, how you react to things. And the beauty of all of this, the beauty of being a human is you get to change your identity. You can change different qualities about yourself anytime you want. If there's something that you're doing or you're feeling about yourself, you can change that. Don't ever for a moment think that, oh, it's, I, there's, what do you mean? I, I can't change. I think, look at my past. Look at what I've gone through. Look at what my parents did. Look at what, what people did to me in school. Look at what my own family or my own closest friends did. I get it. it, it it's, it's not fair. And it's, it's going to happen to all of us on some level. But it's what you do with all of that that really matters. Remember that. So anyways, that's the way love goes. Don't you know? Like a moth to a flame burnt by the fire. Your love is... Can't you see? That's the way. All right, should I put on the glasses? <laughs> How do they look? Do they like make, do they make me look smarter? Nah, you can still see your face. Maybe you guys are thinking, <laughs> who are you? Who are, who are you? Why, why are you even, why are you even uh, saying this stuff? What, you have like a degree or something? Are you some sort of psychiatrist or psychologist? Well, no, no, not even close. Actually, I did go to school for it. I, I have a, a, I have a, a an associate's degree in psychology, which AKA means I do not have a degree in psychology. Most of what I will be offering to you guys is just based on my own life and my own experiences. I want you to tell me who you are without mentioning your name, your occupation, or your accomplishments. While all of these things are super important, they don't really tell me to the core who you are as a person and what it is that is important to you. The way that I would want you to tell me who you are would be to say attributes or um, characteristics or qualities, things that are important to you that describe who you are. So if I were to be asked, I'd probably say, I am light, I am joy, I am happiness, I am laughter, um, I, I love to make people feel good. I like to make people feel happy. You get the point. You understand where, where I'm going with this. 
what if who we are, people would judge us based on what we've done. Oh wait, people do that. You are bigger than your circumstances. You are bigger than what you've been through. So much bigger. And I'm gonna convince you of that, whether you like, whether you like it or not. What I want you to start thinking about when you think of who you are, I want you to think of your internal attributes, what you have to offer the world, what really sets you on fire. And I don't mean herpes or gonorrhea or whatever you have when you, when you burn, when it burns, when you pee, I don't know what that is. <laughs> we want to create some, some fire, just not that kind of fire. Who are you under stress, under pressure, under, happiness and joy and good times and bad times and comfort and suffering. How are you? You know, who are you? How do you react? That tells you who you are. Now you may be thinking about all of this and you don't want to think about it because maybe you're like, I don't really like some of the stuff about myself or it's okay. It's, it's totally fine because the point of all of this is, is that you're starting to look within in the first place, which has to happen that's that's the beginning part it changes the perception that you have of yourself when you can start looking at yourself from an outside perspective and you f just kind of pay attention to your thoughts and the way you react to certain things are you do you find that you're more positive a more positive person or a more negative person what are some of your gifts what do you hold true and, and real in your heart uh, you know what what are your uh, dreams what are your beliefs the point is that we're looking within and the exciting part about all of this is that you have the ability, my friend, to change. You have the ability to change your identity any old time you want. But the problem with that is, is a lot of people don't because of other people. And that is a dangerous thing because that means that you're not living your life for yourself. So the things that are done to us or said to us, you know, these are all lessons and important ones, even though they are sometimes horrific. We, we, we just, we have to go through them because we just sometimes don't get it. I'm, I'm going to try to help us get it quicker. <laughs> I just want to improve your quality of life in a practical way. And the first step to that is really figuring out who we are and what we can offer to the world on the outside. So to close, make a list of all of your positive and your negative attributes. Make a list and check it twice. And I want you to also make a list of all the things that really, really make you happy. What are important, what, what's important in your life? What is it that you're trying to, uh, to achieve? Just make a list. If you don't have the time or you're like, oh, this is stupid, just at least do it in your head. Just, just, just give this some thought, just really stew. Don't, what do I have to offer that that's just in me that perhaps was in me from the very beginning. You know that you are who you are because of all the stuff that's happened to you, but you are who you are from, from the time that you were a child, all those little, you know, what, when you were a kid, what really got you happy and excited and what did you want to be when you grew up? And you know, what, what did you find that interests you or really got your attention? Pay attention to that stuff. Cause it might have something, it translates into your future on some level. I really, really, truly believe that. We need to start thinking a little bit. We need to get that, that childlike courage. You know, when you're a kid, you're just not afraid of anything. And then we get old and blah. I can't do that. I have to go to bed at eight. <laughs> That's so true. This channel was, is, was brought to you by coffee. the Bay and Beak Show, and I'm going to convince you that you are freaking phenomenal. With an F and a, with a capital F and a capital P, not another F. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that when you're with me, you feel like you can do anything. Till next time. Quite brightness. We're going to be painting this room here. Yes, we are. We're about yeah. to remove the horse.
We're going to paint. Yeah, we're going to do yeah. lots of painting. So let's go. Let's go over there. <laughs> let's go over there and paint. <laughs> 